Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be speedrunning 50 questions that I have for Rec Room, so let's dive right in. Number one, why do players not have any arms or legs? Number two, why is Coach sort of around as a commentator, but there's no lore surrounding Coach? It would make a great story. Number three, why is the Forbidden One kind of forgotten about now and replaced by S and the Forsaken One, who we also don't know much about? Why is this lore so complicated? Number four, why was there never a season two or second map of Rec Royale? It's one of the best Rec Originals in my opinion. Number five, when can dorm pets be added to the game? People really want this and it would totally make people come back and play the game more often if they had to log in and keep Fido alive. Number six, why are items priced so arbitrarily in the store? It often doesn't even make any sense. Number seven, when the heck are we gonna get more ink capacity in rooms? 100% ink is reached so quickly, it's almost cruel. Number eight, does anyone play Rec Rally anymore? I'm honestly wondering. Number nine, is the Rec Center ever gonna get a makeover? It looks almost the same as it did years ago. Number 10, what about dorm rooms? They also look kind of outdated in my opinion. Number 11, when will there be an accept all friend request button? My auto clicker method pains me. Number 12, when are we gonna get a fifth quest? I can't handle any more golden trophy. Number 13, why can't you gift Rec Room Plus items, but they can still be added to your wish list? Number 14, who runs the coach account on Rec Room? Number 15, is Crescendo ever gonna be available on the Quest 2? Number 16, why aren't there at least 100 or more XP levels? Why does it end at level 50? Number 17, why doesn't the streamer cam have more hotkeys and shortcuts? Number 18, why did junior accounts randomly get targeted and eliminated on the Quest 2? Are they eventually gonna be eliminated altogether from Rec Room? Number 19, are we ever gonna get in-game maker pen tutorials? So Similar to how orientation is just automatic, not everybody wants to attend a formal class. I mean, socializing. Cringe, am I right? Number 20. Who came up with the idea for quests like Golden Trophy and having them be so goblin-centric? Number 21. Why can't we gift items from quest gift shops? Number 22. Are we ever going to be able to pick our own level 50 boxes? Number 23. When are they going to add age matchmaking in the game? I think adults want to be able to find other adults to hang out with. Number 24. Is there any hope for a health bar in Jumbotron in the future? Or for friendly fire to be turned off in that quest? Number 25. Can players get a gift box on their birthday in the future? That would be cool. Number 26. Are leaderboards ever going to be revamped? They look outdated. Number 27. Why are friend requests and event invites all lumped together on RecNet? This one makes my life a lot more difficult. Number 28. Why can't we gift inventions and dorm skins to other players? Number 29. How come XP doesn't count in private lobbies? Number 30. Is there a reason there's no streamer cam on the Quest 2 standalone? Here are some more questions from the Rec Room community themselves. Number 31. Spirit asks, who is S and where did they originally come from? Number 32. Smile VR says, when will there be new maps for paintball or showdown? or just new games entirely. Number 33 from Chim. Have you ever looked back on a decision you've made and thought it was a mistake? Number 34, Skinnier Snail asks, why do you try to cover up re-releasing old items with lore so you can get more money? Ouch. Tell us how you really feel, Snail. Number 35, Grumia wonders, are we gonna get more Stuntrunner maps? It's getting old. Number 36, Nitro Hunter says, why is there nothing when you get into the champion leaderboard? Some people put a lot of time into a single game only to get up there, and when you do, there's no reward or anything. Feels like a buttersweet victory. I think they mean bittersweet victory. Number 37, The Real Jalanen also wonders about the Rex Hunter update as well as this question. What happened with the Forsaken one? There's a Forsaken bubbly. What does this mean? Will we get more information about it in the future? Number 38, Sebastian inquires, why? out of any object would Rekrum choose a bucket. Number 39, Coffee Guy asks, is Coach in depth with any lore or is she just known as the creator of the Rumiverse? Number 40, Super Gamer also wonders about lore, writing, what does all this lore mean for the future of Rekrum? Number 41, Truggle says, is Coach just a text-to-speech bot? Does Coach even exist? Number 42, Doc15 asked, are there any plans on perhaps either fixing or improving Rekrum's economy? I'm so poor, I can only afford fake Jordans, man. Number 43, the Chaos Did Show is nostalgic, commenting, hey, you made an awesome game. Can you please bring back the old maker pen? Number 44, DVS writes, why did you feel the need to add friendly fire to the quests? Number 45, that one MD wonders, does Rec Room think they're superior to Roblox? Number 46, Nitrum has an interesting question. How did you think of the name Rec Room? Number 47, Jeb inquires, what canceled idea for the game are you still very passionate about and think would do great if added? Number 48, CB Gaming asked, my question is, will there ever be an option of spawning bosses with the spawner gadget? Number 49, Mr. Pickle Studios wants to know about the future, writing, do you plan on adding full body tracking for full body costumes? And going off that question, will you ever add more advanced custom avatars like the ones in VR chat? Number 50, Easy has a simple question. 
what does the 1987 thing mean? I know I said 50, but there was an overwhelming response on my community post. So here are five bonus questions from Rec Room players. One, Toxerpot asks, what was the hardest RO to make and why? Number two, Damon Mandano wonders, how come selling unwanted clothing isn't in the game? 99% of the clothing I have, I will never wear. Number three, Hamter Boy says, will they have more invasion type events coming in the future? And will the S story have its own event? Number four, True CDC has a valid question. Why do mice bots exist? And has the person who invented them been fired? I may or may not ever so slightly despise them. Number five, and finally, TDS asks, how did they come up with the avatar models? I'm curious to know. There were so many great questions from the Rec Room community. If you smash the like button on this video, maybe Coach will see all the likes and answer some of these questions. We can hope anyways. Don't forget to use code Tara in Rec Room or hit the support button on my profile if you enjoyed this video and want to help support my channel. Now, if you want to keep watching Rec Room content, click on this video right here.